Listen up, ladies. Tighten your ponytails, because you have 15 minutes to run a mile around this field. Oh! Miss Cooper, these extensions cost a thousand dollars. We had to sacrifice a horse's hair in the process. And Tia has, like, Satan-level cramps. Why don't you end class early today? Girls, let's go get Manny petties On me! Oh, yeah! <laughs> All right! Hi, I'm Holly from New Jersey, and my daddy is a billionaire who owns a bunch of fancy hotels around the country. And when you're the daughter of a billionaire, people will pretty much always give you what you want. That's why Miss Cooper let me treat everyone to Manny petties Before I continue, please like and subscribe. Being the richest girl in town may sound like a dream, but early on, I learned it was a huge responsibility. Kids at school literally all wanted to be me and tried to copy everything I did. From my fashion choices to even the way I walked. I have a funny walk since I'm always wearing five-inch heels. But I liked being a role model, because I love helping people find their inner fabulousness. Like when I met my BFF Tia. I'd opened my locker one morning to find some of my stuff was missing. Namely, my favorite scarf. People are monsters! Whoever stole my Vuitton scarf, shame on you! I hope a spider eats your eyelashes in the middle of the night so you'll never get to wear mascara again! I was shaking with anger as I stormed by the girls' bathroom. That's when I saw Tia wearing my scarf, crying hysterically. I did it! I stole your scarf! Kids were making fun of my outfit, and I heard that you kept some spare accessories in your locker, but I couldn't find you to ask your permission. I'm going to jail. I'll have to wear prison clothes. I look really fat in orange. I told her she could keep my scarf because boy did she need it. Her clothes looked like they'd come out of a literal dumpster. So either she was poor or had the fashion sense of a baboon. I took Tia under my wing after that. I gave her a makeover and we became besties. I also convinced her to stop watching MSA on TikTok and switch to YouTube so she wouldn't fry her brain. But in 10th grade, things took a scary turn. I developed a crush on this super smart kid at school named Sebastian, but he wasn't paying any attention to me. So hmm. to impress him, I made my 16th birthday party chemistry themed, with tons of sciency decor and designer lab coats. So what do you think of this amazing nerd party? Did I tell you I ordered a pinata of the world's greatest scientist, Harry Potter? Are you serious right now? I'm very serious. How about we go dance? I don't want to be mean, but you're not my type. I only came to this party because you said you were handing out iPads as party favors. Did he just reject me at my own birthday party? Another guy ended up asking me to slow dance, but I was so bummed out and distracted that I totally didn't notice that the guy who was leaning in to kiss me was Tia's longtime crush. Oh my gosh! How could you do this to me? You were seconds away from kissing Freddy. You know I've had a crush on him since the ninth grade, ever since I farted in class and he took the blame for me. Tia, I'm sorry. I was distracted and... Oh, don't start giving me excuses. I talked to you about that boy and his abs for years. And now you think you could just swoop in between us with your high heels and your gorgeous fake hair? As of now, this friendship is over. What? Don't say that. I... Suddenly, a smoke cloud blew up in my face from one of the lab stations I'd set up. I was immediately rushed to the hospital, and there, I received insane news. I had to get facial reconstruction surgery from the injury. When I woke up from my procedure, I expected to be surrounded with friends and care baskets, but nobody came to visit me, which was bizarre. And as weeks passed, I didn't get a single call or text asking how I was. The people at my party knew I'd gotten severely hurt. Maybe they didn't realize that my injury was so serious? I arrived at school a couple of months later, and to my shock, everyone completely ignored me. Okay, what was going on? The Ow! Sebastian? Uh, how do you know my name? Because I invited you to my party? And don't give me that judgy look. I know my face looks like a bloated baby on steroids. It's because I just got surgery, man. The only time I ever look bloated is if I eat gluten. I don't know what you're talking about. Are you new to this school? And that's when it hit me. 
He didn't recognize me because of my new face. So that's why the kids were ignoring me. Except it still didn't explain why everyone had ghosted me for two freaking months. I decided to find Tia and ask her about it. But throughout the day, I didn't get a chance to talk to her because apparently she'd become the new queen bee after I'd left. Then at lunchtime, I discovered something that shook my world. I was headed to the library when I overheard Tia talking with someone. So, do you think Holly will ever come back to school? Ew, I hope not. You know how everyone secretly hates her. I don't know if she's healed from her chemical injury or whatever, but we're all better off if that brat is out of our lives. <laughs> Wait, what the sugar-free fudge? My BFF and all the girls at school secretly hated me? Since I was unrecognizable, I decided to get the scoop from some other girls. And when I did, I discovered what Tia said was true. Holly paid teachers to change her grades. Once, she gave our science teacher a pair of $10,000 boots. Holly wore peacock feathers to school. She supported peacock cruelty. Holly and I used to be best friends, but she never really cared about me. She just saw me as some charity case and told me I needed a makeover. And then she danced with my crush of two years. So it was true. I was the most despised girl at school with no real friends. That was why nobody cared that I was in the hospital. And what's wrong with making your BFF your charity case? Was Tia against charity? I decided to get ice cream after school so I could eat my feelings. One fattening calorie overload of double chocolate fudge, nuts, and extra whipped cream that I'll probably pay for later. It's been a rough day. I'm sorry to hear that. Wait, didn't we meet earlier today? Sebastian, you work here? I randomly guessed your name from your tag. But you also go to my school, right? I was about to answer when suddenly I heard some party horns behind me and in marched Tia with her minions who were blowing confetti. That's when she announced that she'd won the lottery, but wanted to donate some of the money to the ice cream parlor out of the goodness of her heart. Just because I'm a millionaire now doesn't mean I'm above any of you. So many people in my place would just spend our government's dollars on diamonds and handbags, but I care about the poor. You know we're a successful business, right? Just tell my viewers how grateful you are. She was publicly donating to charity to appear like a saint, but she was also wearing real leather boots and talking to all her friends about how she'd pay the principal to change all her grades. She thought I was a monster for being rich, but she was just like me. That night, I decided to take on a new identity and filed some fake documents under the name Juniper, which was the name of my favorite perfume. That way, I could enroll as a new student, become friends with Tia, and expose her as a fake. Then, she'd know what it's like to be in my shoes. The first step in my plan was to get in with Tia and her minions. One morning at school, I overheard Tia bragging about how she donated thousands of dollars to an alopecia awareness foundation. So that night, I chopped off all my hair and then put it in a bag, which I took to Tia the next day. Ew, what is this? It's hair. My hair. I want to donate it. Oh my gosh, is that why you have that ugly haircut? Well, if I'm helping someone in need, I'm happy to look ugly, as long as it's temporary. Everyone gathered around us, and I could tell they were impressed. After that, I became somewhat popular, which got me in with Tia and her friends. Jackpot! The next step was figuring out how to expose that hypocritical witch. I was about to head to the mall one day with Tia and her friends when I saw Sebastian leaning against the wall looking really upset. I told Tia to go ahead without me so I could go check on Sebastian. Hey, are you okay? No, my dad hates me. I failed one stupid test because I was working long hours and now dad is pissed at me because I'm not a superhuman who can work full time, do a million extracurriculars and get perfect grades. That's so unfair. You should either quit your job or one of your extracurriculars. Are you living on cloud nine or something? I can't quit anything. I have to get a full scholarship to the best college in the country or I'm toast. I felt bad after Sebastian told me that so I offered to help him out during his next work shift when the manager wasn't there. And it was rough. I ordered a mint chocolate swirl with two scoops of vanilla and this has three. How am I supposed to eat all this? My apologies, miss. I'll take the extra scoop. No, don't yell at him. 
So he gave you an extra scoop of ice cream. Boo-hoo! In some countries, there are children who only get one scoop of ice cream. Did you ever think of that? And why should I listen to a girl with such a hideous haircut? That did it. I grabbed her ice cream and smashed it in her face. Sebastian almost got fired. Luckily, I bribed the boss with $5,000, but I still felt horrible. Don't beat yourself up. You were just looking out for me, and I really appreciate you donating that money to save my butt. After that, the two of us became good friends. He was smart and sweet, and I really respected him for how hard he worked to support himself. It made me realize how lucky I am. One day, I was doing homework in the courtyard when Tia invited me to this exclusive rooftop party. I'd sort of forgotten about my revenge plan ever since I started hanging out with Sebastian, but I didn't have anything going on that weekend. But when I arrived at the address, I realized it was one of Dad's hotels. What were we doing here? We had a two-year waiting list, and only celebrities were allowed at the parties. All the girls at school sneak in here every weekend to go to celebrity parties. We wouldn't have been able to get in, but luckily, I used to be friends with the owner's daughter, Holly. You know that rich brat everyone hated? I tricked Holly's daddy into giving her tons of hotel memberships. I would have ended that friendship ages ago, but I didn't want to lose the memberships. I felt like I'd been punched in the chest. It was one thing to have my BFF and all the girls at school hate me, but they'd all been secretly using me too. I wanted to scream and tell them off, but I couldn't even bring myself to speak. So I excused myself, and a few hours later, I texted Sebastian to meet me so I could have a real friend by my side. Sebastian, why do you even hang out with me? I'm just a dumb, superficial bimbo. What are you talking about? Just because you're rich doesn't make you a bad person. You even gave yourself an interesting haircut so you could donate your hair. No, I didn't. I purchased a wig and cut off the wig's hair. I was too selfish to donate my real hair. I was too selfish to even chop off my extensions. Before Sebastian could answer, my phone rang and it was Dad telling me to come to the hotel immediately. Sebastian accompanied me, and when I arrived, I couldn't believe my eyes. The hotel was burnt to ashes because Tia and the girls had blown up fireworks and started a wildfire. The police had arrived to take the girls to juvie, even though Tia begged me to bail her out. I've got news for you. As you can see by my hair, I'm not Juniper. I'm Holly, your ex-best friend who had to have reconstruction surgery. I know I've been a bad friend to you, and I know I can be selfish and spoiled, but what you guys did to me is unforgivable. We're done. Tia and the girls were taken away, but I didn't feel any better. Dad's hotel had burned down, and I couldn't help feeling like it was my fault. If I'd been a better person, these girls wouldn't have hated me and wouldn't have done this. I stayed in my room for a few days when Sebastian came to visit me. I expected it because he wanted to end our friendship because I'd lied to him about my identity. But surprisingly, that wasn't it. Holly, I'm not going to lie to you. You are kind of spoiled and it's messed up that you lied to turn everyone against Tia. But it's nothing compared to what Tia did to you. And you're becoming a better person. I didn't fall for you because you're perfect. I'm in love with you because you're an amazing friend who's mature enough to learn from her mistakes. You're in love with me? You probably don't feel the same way, but... Okay, maybe you are. No, duh. Don't make me spell it out for you.